Well, praise the Lord. A lot of things have been going on. Welcome back to Ben Vlog. And I just kind of wanted to touch base with everybody. Got my computer all fixed up. Um, uh, had it in the shop for about a week and everything. They said that it wasn't like bad wiring, but it was just like a really bad virus or something that just ate it all to pieces, despite the fact that I had Norton on it. So I don't exactly understand what that's all about, but nonetheless, that was the situation. Um, we've been in communications with Mike Sutherland and some emails and everything, uh, text messages. He's on a vacation at the moment, and I should be hearing from him pretty soon to figure out exactly what we can work out as unto a concert date. A um, lot of cool things going on. We have a new group added for the uh, In His Grip Promotions uh, singing event down in August 17th. That's in Neon, Kentucky, right by the Virginia line. You can spit and hit it near Hazard. Over in Neon, Kentucky, we'll be having that with the Rose family, Dee Dee and the Faith Singers, Caleb Howard, I'm struggling to remember all these names, Porter Song and Ben Jam, and I hope I'm not leaving anybody out. And that's put together with my partner and the founder of In His Grip uh, Promotions, Jason Brown. Jason is an awesome guy. He's getting things done for all these artists. We're about to send out a comp in July. Got everything coming together and, and all that, and it's going to be out. And hopefully we get more groups charting. All these groups will get great airplay. We are really working for you. Jason knows his stuff, and he has a great staff of people that help him with making the calls and all. I just kind of do acquisitions and all that because I know anybody and everybody and if you don't know me, you know, get to know me because I'm all over in Southern Gospel and, and just my hands are in everything. They are. I admit it. I know it. I, I take on too much. Uh, we have a band, Ben Jam. You know that we're going to be recording our stuff soon. I keep saying that. Uh, blame my mother. Uh, we're going to be recording that stuff soon. Uh, get that new album finished. I want to put more songs on it because I think that you deserve it. I am sick to death of getting an album and not having that thing jam-packed full of good stuff. So that's what we're trying to do for you. We're playing it into the ground. It's almost like a jam band, I'll tell you, on this new one. Uh, you Need the Holy Ghost Volume 3. Awesome stuff. Um, so if it were a jam band, we wouldn't be taking on Bill Gaither as unto comparing quality-wise. It would be more like The Grateful Dead. Uh, due to that stylization because there's a lot of instrumentation and musical solos only it's southern gospel so uh, it's fun stuff I believe that you can have fun for the Lord playing for the Lord and and music in itself is worship if you don't know that read your Bible and you'll see that it is music in and of itself is worship when David strummed the harp when he plucked the strings out, not, not even singing a word, demon spirits would leave. If you're in a church that doesn't believe that, they're not teaching you the Bible. You need to pray. Um, so, I mean, that's just about it and all that there is of that. We're going to be adding new songs, ideally, to the other albums that we already have out um, going on there and uh, lots of other stuff. Going to be doing a few things with Benefactor, a couple interviews, planning on being at the National Quartet Convention for a few days or nights or, or so, you know, two, three days, something like that, and... Um, just as media, and going to be talking with some groups, other artists, and, and everything. You know that we stay busy, Benefactor Benediction. Benediction still the big thing that we have going on. The big dog out there is Farm Ageddon. Uh, this is the gospel music concert that rules and reigns over all gospel music concerts. I know everybody wants to say that, but how many of them have only live bands? None. Um, so, yeah. It's going to be a good time, and I'm looking forward to it. And it should be a fun time. Somebody asked me, they said, what if something goes wrong? How can it go wrong? We're not doing by soundtracks. It's not like, well, I didn't bring my other song, or I would have sung it for you today. Everything is live music. There are no split tracks. Like I said, read your Bible. That's worship. I wanted to do it. I've wanted to have a jam. We've wanted to have almost like a battle of the bands type thing. But Front Porch Jamish, more more like that to have that live 
music element that uh, people are trying to strip from Southern Gospel because they don't know what they're doing or they think they know what they're doing or whatever their problem is. There's a lot of people in groups that can play but they don't because that's just not how the industry is and that's not how it sets you up. You're a weirdo if you got to set up a drum set or you got to set up a keyboard or, or you have guitars and you got all this live stuff. And yeah, we just want all these people there that aren't even playing in your group and God only knows what kind of lives they live. Uh, I want a live band. That's what I want to hear. I covered secular music for a newspaper and I would hear people playing country and they'd be playing rock and they would be doing an incredible job. And I thought, how much more important is it to give that kind of effort for Jesus Christ uh, more uh, you know read your Bible so anyway uh, we're really trying to do that and throwing it down um, I'm not saying that all of our concerts are going to be that way I do understand the practicality of having soundtracks there's a lot of artists that I like that uh, just have the soundtracks thing and some of them have told us man they said we wish that we had live bands you know what live bands are live bands are money uh, you've got that many more mouths to feed You've got that much more of an expenditure, and when you get people that want to complain, you know who they are, that want to complain and say, I don't want to be paying that much for some kind of ticket, but Lord knows that people wouldn't think a thing of it at dropping it for a rock and roll show, but because it's gospel music, I don't want to be paying that much for a ticket. That's why you don't have as many live bands and gospel music as you do in other stuff. Um, let all the glory be to God. Uh, we want to bless you. We want to be a blessing to you. If you are an artist and if you are looking to be on a radio comp that cares and that will fight for you and that won't just take your money and throw it away, we will listen to your stuff. You just contact us. We'll listen to it. And if we think that we can just rock the charts with your stuff, if we think, man, we can get you airplay, uh, we know that we can get something going on with that, we're going to work with you. And I mean, and that's really what it's it's all about. We're not going to take somebody and take them for granted and, and not make those phone calls and everything. We are pushing as hard for every single artist that we put on our comps as we can. And we're not taking any more than 10 artists per comp that's going out because it's really too much to handle. Um, you know, to, to push 20 different artists or whatever. We would just be taking your money if we did that, and we're not that kind of people. Jason Brown bends over backwards for people. He gives till he can't give no more, and then he gets up and he gives some more, and um, he's the kind of people I like. He's a good person, uh, has a real heart to help people and, and just to work for the Lord, and that's what he's all about. Um, when he asked me to come on board with this, I took a little bit of time. I thought about it, and I'm like, yeah, I he he's legit. I mean, he's he's a good guy. He's the real deal. I vouch for him. Love him to death. Um, has lived an awesome uh, life in so many aspects. I'm not gonna make this video too long by bragging and boasting on my friend there. Um, but uh, anyway. I've got everything packed all up. I'm going on vacation. Uh, the next time you see me, and I don't know what the weather's going to be like because it looks like it's bad, but we've paid for it anyway. Stair goes, so we're going. I will be on the beaches in the panhandle of Fort Walton Beach and Destin, Florida. Yeah, so... Um, I'm excited about that. That is my favorite place in the world. I'm a beach bum. Um, I love those white sands and crystal waters, and it's great. Um, I, there's no allergies. For those of you that know Rockwood, Tennessee, East Tennessee, worst allergy area in the world, in uh, the entire planet, literally. They had it on the news. The entire planet, if you're living in this Appalachian area, worst allergies in the entire world. That's horrible, isn't it? So um, it's no wonder that I always go around congested at these gospel events or whatever. But um, we're going to be out there and hopefully soaking up some rays. And hopefully it won't rain like these news people are wanting to say that it will. Yeah. Well, that is pretty much it. Uh, this is Benjamin Blankenship from Ben Vlog, and I hope that you've enjoyed it. I hope that you've been watching our previous episodes where I'm giving shorter and wittier and hopefully more charming commentary than I am today. 
like I said, it's been a while. Had a lot to cover. Hope that covers it. And I will be looking to see you again soon. Watch your videos and share them. We get paid. It's monetized on YouTube. You just made us a dime. I love you. Bye-bye.